Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are jumping in to the Seekers of the Storm DLC. I held off a little bit on making this video because I wanted to wait for the mods to all be updated for the new DLC and back up and running. And the vast majority of them are now. We've got most of the mods we had before as well as a few new ones. And we are going to jump in as the Seeker character one of the new ones from the DLC, and we're also going to do something different as well. I'm going to try out Eclipse Mode. Eclipse Mode is kind of like Ascension from Slay the Spire, where it's like a stacking difficulty where you've got to beat one to unlock two, and then you beat two to unlock three, all the way up to eight, and with each level, a different sort of difficulty modifier gets added to make it a little more difficult. So as you can see, with this one, we start each stage with minus 50% of our HP, which does make things a little harder, but we'll jump straight into this and I'll kind of cover some of the mods as we cross them and uh, see what we can do. This character's pretty cool. He's This character's like a, a sort of brawler character. We've got the photo mode here so we can have a little, a little look at the character here, so... It's kind of like a, a brawler style character. I think it's really, really cool, actually. Sorry if my camera controls are really awkward. They're uh, reversed at the minute because we're on a mirrored stage. But really, really cool looking character design-wise. And just a lot of fun to play. We've got, like, these fists we can fire. And, like, this fist up out the ground. And we've got, like, this tranquility ability. And you can kind of see the leaves above our skill tree. Uh, like, above our skills on the bottom right there. And those leaves happen each time. We gain one each time we use tranquility there. And they like basically impact how good our other abilities are and how much damage they deal it's pretty cool a really really fun character so far definitely uh, on the weaker side damage wise but got a lot of defense abilities to heal and i think in multiplayer this character can actually revive teammates as well but yeah as i said because we're playing eclipse difficulty here this is going to be pretty hard um like eclipse is based on monsoon difficulty which means higher damage scaling uh sorry not damage scaling higher difficulty scaling and then on top of that lower health regen so it is going to definitely make things more tricky so we do have to be a little careful but i think we can do it I think we can have a good time with it and hopefully, hopefully not get beaten up and die too quickly. That was actually one of the new elites from the DLC there. That was uh, a gilded elite, which will steal your money. Of course it'll steal your money. Uh, we'll go for that. Monster Tooth is decent, but not great. Honestly, on Monsoon, it's not bad considering healing is pretty hard requirement for staying alive. Because your health regen is so low, so I don't actually mind that at all. I love the fact that that stuns as well. That's really nice. The, the the fist out the ground ability is like one of my favorites. So getting some like backup magazines to be able to use that a little more readily would be really nice. And you can see that every third shot we fire is like a, a, an extra size shot. Um, we got tougher times here. I'm going to take tougher times. I was definitely tempted by uh, Paul's goat hoof there because the extra movement speed would have been really, really nice. But... I think we can go with tougher times. That gives us a 10% chance to block. And for every two collected, gain one armor for five seconds. That's actually pretty nice, to be honest. Um, armor's a good way of reducing damage that we take, so having the ability to uh, use armor's good. And there's our movement ability there. But basically what that does is it turns into this little ball um, of energy that we can move around as. And we can actually hover around for as long as we want, but the longer you stay in it, you start taking damage over time, and that damage gets higher and higher, so it's not something that you want to be utilizing all the time. You can see that does some good damage there as well. Lovely stuff. And yeah, we do have some mods on that we weren't using before. Some rebalance mods that sort of rebalance the game quite a lot in terms of survivors, enemies, items. There's lots of stuff that it does. 5% chance to bleed on hits and striking enemies while bleeding reduces their armor by 30. Ooh, damn. I don't know how much armor enemies generally have, but that seems like it's be pretty good, right? Reducing armor seems like a, a good thing overall. Pretty easy stage so far, but we do want to be relatively quick in getting out of here. We don't want to stick around too long. I think Monster Tooth is actually an item that received a buff, to be honest. So, killing enemy spawns a healing orb that heals for 8 plus an additional 2% of maximum health. I'm pretty sure that 2% of maximum health bit is um, part, of the, part of the buff. So, having it be maximum HP based is really, really nice. We can see how our Lotus Leaf thing, our little petals, are filling up above our skills now. We can open that up. Oh my god. Good hit. I'm liking this bleed thing. I could I could definitely be down with a bleed build. Turpaz Brooch, not so good. When we're playing on um, Eclipse difficulty, we really want to be trying to build towards like a cohesive build with some synergy, which means that looking for scrappers to um, scrap items so we can 3D print different items is not a bad idea at all. 
We want to be trying to look out for scrappers wherever we can so we can get rid of items that don't work for our build and take items that do, as well as just getting stacks of items that are going to really help us. Obviously, it's plausible to not do that and just, like, roll with what the game gives you, but it's, it's going to be a lot easier for us to build something that works if we actually, like, play the game and use scrappers and stuff. And we've already got a few items that I'd be willing to scrap. Roller pennies is really bad on Eclipse because you really don't want to be getting hit. Turpaz brooch is okay, but you kind of need a few of them for it to get to the point where it's actually good. Um, attack speed's good, but considering we've got this bleed thing here, I'm going to go with some more bleed. I think that'd be quite nice. But two of you guys. Reducing enemies' armor seems like it's going to give us a lot of extra damage. Especially on certain enemies. I don't know, if, like I said, which enemies have armor and which don't, but I imagine they all have a base bit of armor, right, or something. And you have a 20% chance to duplicate drones and turrets on purchase. You have a 10% chance to revive drones when they die. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, just maybe not the best, but I do have a mod that buffs up drones and stuff, so... Being able to duplicate them and stuff is kind of nice. You'll see as we start taking damage here. And I'll pop this straight away. Let's go do our boss. We do have a few new bosses as well, one of which is a pretty hard boss. We do get the good old classic Beetle Queen, which is not too hard. Although, I do believe one of the mods I have buffs up the Beetle Queen to make her a little less of a pushover. Because in vanilla Beetle Queen, as many people know, is a boss that you can really disregard for the most part. It's not very hard. But it definitely makes it a little harder. I'm trying to use my Tranquility like while right next to enemies because then I'll do a bit of damage to everyone. But at the same time, I do have to be careful that I don't take too much damage because healing is few and far between right now. What do we get here? Gain a buff that grants you 5 armor and 30 healing percent when you pick up an item. Max cap, cap on 3 buffs. Hmm. How does that work exactly? Um, grants a buff 5 armor and 30% healing when picking up an item. Max cap of three buffs. So is that like we get three buffs per stage sort of thing? I'm not exactly sure how that works. And now that we've killed the boss, we can actually freely roam around and, and, and use interactables on like the base game. That's pretty good. Numbing berries is more armor. So we've actually got a decent amount of defensive stuff right now, which is good. Damn, we got a bit unlucky with that. Yeah, decent amount of defensive stuff is really nice here. We have a lot of ways of gaining armor. So I can actually take a look here, I think, at my uh, at my buffs. Okay, it doesn't actually tell me exactly what the buffs do, but I can see which buffs are active. We're almost ready to go here, so let's get ready to blast off. Look at all these little fellas. Okay, we did just get a difficulty increase, so we're up to medium difficulty already here. It's going to make things a little trickier, but I think we can do it. I think we have the skills and the wherewithal. I'm not guaranteeing this run will make it all the way, by the way. We are going to try and beat Mithrix, um, because that's kind of how you beat Eclipse mode. I think you can do any of the endgame bosses, but Mithrix is the one that I know the best. Um, so I'll try my best, but this is Eclipse mode, so I can't guarantee anything. I'm hoping I at least make, make it to sort of stage 4 or 5, at least. The... Ooh, there's a drone. So we've got a 20% chance to duplicate that drone if we pick it up, so it's worth doing. And as I said, drones are improved with one of the mods I'm using, so it is worth going for. Grab that. As you can see, our health is still a little low, so we kind of want to be using this straight away, to be honest. The mini game's annoying, but eh, it's not too bad. I think I can hurt with this, can't I? Yeah. Ooh, an elite teller. He gets, like, increased attack speed and invinci uh, invisibility when he's in that mode there. A top hat. Increased health permanently by 1% for every utility item we have. That's one of those items that's pretty unassuming, but that could get pretty wild. So, like, speed increases and stuff are going to help out with that, right? And gain shield. While your shield is active, increase attack speed by 10%. That's okay. The 10% attack speed bonus is kind of nice. Ooh, we got a gift. What is this? Have a little look-see. Uh, when using your special skill, increase your total damage by 10% for every second of cooldown. Lasts 5 seconds. Ooh, nice. So after using Tranquility, we get a pretty big damage bonus that fades over time. 
That's kind of nice. Gives us more reason to use Tranquility. I'm not quite sure why we got that, but I'll accept it. I will certainly accept it. I want to bleed this guy. Bleed him. I need more attack speed, really. There you go. Once he's bled, he starts going down a little quicker. There you go. Easy. There's another one of them over there. They're, they're new enemies as well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're uh, a modded one, though, not from the DLC. No! I not only had to take fall damage, but I missed whatever that 3D printer was up there. Stun grenade, really not great. It's, I mean, stun's nice, but you need a lot of them, I think, for it to be good. Let's go back up and see what that 3D printer was. Lunar coins, obviously we've got a lot of them, so we just don't really care. More monster teeth. Uh, monster tooth. I don't even know if I'm going to keep monster tooth, so I don't know about that. We do have a shrine of the mountain there. A little bit risky, but I'm going to give it a go. Because uh, this guy has piercing, so AoE attacks are not too bad. We got over there. 3D printer, but for what? Taking damage grants 60% attack speed. Uh, for one second, plus one second per stack. Ooh, man. That could be... Is that a green item or is that a, that a white item? I think that's a green item, right? I'm going to gamble on that. What did we lose? I don't know what that item was we lost. I can't remember what that did. It's kind of good, though. Yeah, I gambled on that. I probably shouldn't have done, but we should try and find a scrapper, really. We can get rid of the items we want to get rid of. Right, here's a drone over here. Let's grab it and see if it duplicates. Ah, no duplication for us. The drone start 50% HP as well. It said all allies. Got to remember that. Not that that matters too much, I don't think. But having a healing drone is pretty nice. It's good to have. Crit glasses we like. Okay, there's our portal over there, teleporter, so let's go find other stuff first. Oh, I want more tougher times now. I'm, I'm addicted to that noise of blocking damage. Loaf of bread's pretty good. Modded item here. Um, while teleporter's charging, killing enemies grants us 5% missing HP. Just a good way to heal up. But again, another item that doesn't really excel without stacking. There's quite a few items like that where... If you just get one stack of them, it's nice to have, but it's not going to, like, make a much of a difference. Oh, dude, we got another stack of this item. And we did get a scrapper. Nice, okay. I'm going to, um, go and... I'm going to get rid of the top hat, and I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to grab, grab more of those and have four stacks of this, because although 60% attack speed isn't crazy, having it for five seconds after being hit is, is kind of good. Ten percent chance on hitting a boss to drop a buffing orb that improves health regen, attack speed, move speed, and base damage for ten seconds. That's pretty decent. And then warped echo ain't so good. Right, let's stick around here and try and uh, scrap a few more things if we can. Just gonna quickly do this and then go into that. Took a bit of a risk there and got a bit close to everything. A bit closer than I definitely should have done. Oh my god. But Warped to Echo there, not a big fan of it. It's one of the new items from the DLC, but it's it's kind of meh. Where'd the Scrapper go? I've lost it. I've lost the Scrapper. Oh, there, it's all the way back there. I'm stupid. Right. Let's just quickly take take stock of what we want to get rid of. We also need to kill these enemies first. Make sure we're safe-ish. Okay. Um, mustache. That one. That one. Is there anything else? We want to get rid of Warped Echo and the Extender Arms as well. Extender Arms, Turpaz Brooch, and... Warped Echo. It's a lot of items to get rid of, but I think we, if we get lucky with 3D printers, we should be alright. 
go. We spent a decent amount of time in the stage. Now, we, we know where the teleporter is. It's in that back corner over there. So let's make our way back to our 3D printer and get two more of this item. We take damage if we spend too much time in that, so we've got to be wary. But it's a really good movement ability, though, so... And we can use Transcendence afterwards to just heal up again, which is really, really nice. Hit the wall there. Yeah, two more stacks of this would be very nice. Then we've got six different uh, white items scrapped, so a good 3D printer would go a long way here. Or even go into the, um, the what's it called area. Lovely, and then one more. Cool, okay. So now we're in a good position. And we're just going to beeline it straight to the boss here because we're taking quite a bit of time. I think that's one of my big issues with Eclipse mode is I, ju I do just tend to take too much time doing stuff. And we got a 3D printer there. Dude, not a good 3D printer. Massive. We've got another scrapper back here. We'll do the boss straight away here. It's a try on the mountain, so it could be a bit tricky, but... One of the mods we're using changes the way the enemies spawn, so you no longer get two of the exact same enemy on Shrine of the Mountain, which does make things a little more difficult, potentially. I think we got Beetle Queen and... Oh, no, no, we didn't. We didn't get Beetle Queen. We just got a few of these normal folk. Dude, this is hectic as shit, man. I'm going to have to take this elsewhere. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stay up here for a hot minute and uh, and re re regen my health. Guess this is uh this is kind of nuts. Oh, we did get one of these guys. So do we have three bosses right now? Damn. I really shouldn't have done that. That was a really bad idea. Back up again. Come on, healing drone. Heal me. We don't have enough range to really hit from down there. We don't have any drones or anything to help us out right now either, so... It's going to be a bit of a long fight. I may have uh, overstated my power when I went for the... Uh, when I tried to do the, what's it called, the Trine of the Mountain here, but it is what it is. Get back up there again. Just all the other enemies it spawns when we do this is mad. There's so many enemies. Okay, luckily, we can stay easily out of the way of that. And that fist thing does a lot of damage. Once I've got the Vagrant out of the way, the Wandering Vagrant, I'm not too worried. Laser there. It's working reasonably well. Let's get in there. Another one dead. Ooh, that freeze was not good for us right there. Back up here we go. Oh my god, that laser ability, man. We can jump down here and do this. My timing on that was pretty poor, to be honest. Okay, we got you, we got you. Man, that took some doing, but we did it. And we got two of these flowers, which actually have been buffed and are much better now, so I'll probably keep them. Right, let's go see what that is over there. Not really anything we want there. That's decent, we'll take that.
Yeah, so now the um, the daisy here, it uh, gives the shock nerve, the, the health nerve as normal, but also we get 5% of our health every second while we're stood in it. It's pretty nice. Man, we got through it, but that was a, that was a rough boss fight. Just the amount of enemies that end up spawning is wild. Not just the bosses you're fighting, it's everything else. What we got here? <sighs> Six times 8% for our cash back is pretty good. It's not quite good enough, but that is pretty good. 8% cash back on all of our purchases. I want, but I, I, what I really need is I really need something that's going to bolster my damage. And I think that right there is it. Amazing. We got six times Razor Pennies. Razor Penny, 5% crit chance. So we're going all the way up to, um, well, five times six. What the hell's five times six? 25, 30% crit chance. And every single crit will drop six gold, which is pretty good. That's, that's a good way of getting money. So that's a, a really good one off the bat there. The crits are going to be nice. And we might be able to use that again later in the stage if we find a scrapper as well. That would be really, really nice. Right. Are we going to find much good stuff around here? We've got a chest down there. This being a flipped stage is confusing me. Doesn't look right. Okay, let's go over there, shall we? Very much do not want to deal with that enemy. That enemy is awful. Ooh, hello. What is this? Gain 200 HP. Uh, that's really, really nice, just in general. Deal 1.5% of your max health as bonus damage on hit. So we're dealing 7.2% extra damage, and if we can build our max HP even higher, that gets even more impressive. So that's really good, actually, as a as a legendary. It's really good. That's, that enemy's interesting. Yeah, that, that seems like, that health one seems like one that could, like, have some interesting synergies. The assassin enemy there. There is a scrapper, but it's all the way over there. We're going to have to make our way back over to that. It's a bit of a gamble to take that, but I thought let's go for it. And we get whatever that is. Let's have a little look-see. Inventory. A special delivery containing um, items will appear in a random location at each stage. Um, corrupt ship and request forms. Okay, I can deal with that. No, Mr. Assassin Man, I don't want to deal with you, thank you. There's enemies stealing my goddamn gold. Where is it? There's, a, there's an enemy stealing my gold, and I can't figure out which one it is. Okay, I'm all the way back out here, and I'm not quite sure why. No healing for you, good sir. Okay, there were some chests down here. I knew there was a reason I came over this way. We've got an adaptive chest as well, actually. Oh my god, there's a fucking worm underneath me. I got an equipment... Tri-tip, another tri-tip. That's really good for us. We need to get that. I'm having a slightly hard time getting it right now because of all this shenanigans that's going on. And yes, we got another one of these. Dude, that's really good. Upon taking damage, we get a ton of fire rate for a while. That guy is so annoying. Can you die, please? Need an armor playing to protect us from that, really. Right, scrapper and a Luna thing over here. Do we want to scrap anything that we have right now? I 
I don't really know, to be honest. I guess the loaf of bread isn't that good anymore. We can get rid of that, because it's only a single one. That's good. I don't know, though. I could... I think... I think I don't need it. I think I'm getting good enough healing elsewhere. Dude, can you stop spawning enemies while I'm trying to use the scrapper, man? Why didn't the scrapper pause? I wish it did. Right, loaf of bread. Gone. Um, that one gone. That one gone. That one gone. I mean, let's just take a look at my green items. I've got, I haven't got anything I want to get rid of here, do I? I don't think so. Okay, cool. I can go and get a bunch more of these uh, crit chance ones, which is real nice. Crit chance and the, the money on crit thing is like the big selling point for me. Took a lot of damage doing that, but I thought it was worthwhile. Hey, two healing items. I know I just got rid of one of those, but I'm actually pretty happy with that. And then where's the teleport? Okay, it's just down there on the bridge. Not too bad, not too bad. One, two, three, four. Cool, we now have ten of those, which means we get ten... 10 money every time we crit and we have a 50% chance to crit so we're going to be stacking up money pretty goddamn quickly let's get the hell out of here I think we're about ready to bye bye we do have another void cradle over there do I want to risk it oh hello what are you guys doing down here Bit of a waste of time to go after them, but oh well. Right, boss is probably going to be pretty rough here, but we can do it. We do have a lunar area next as well. Grove Tender. Oh my god. I forget how hard the Grove Tender is. I feel like he could insta-kill me if I'm not careful. Yeah, that attack's kind of brutal. Well, that was unexpected as well. At least we got that to, sat to land safely. The crit chance is definitely helping, but our DPS is still lacking a little bit here. There you go, one boss down. I think it's all about stacking bleed now, though. We want to get more bleed items going. We need a better active as well. The, 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 the repairing drones one isn't, isn't it for us, is it, really? Almost dead. Oh, dude, no. No, he healed so much from all of that. No, he healed like halfway. Are you kidding me? Stop doing this ability! Oh my god, that's so cheaty. You healed so much off of that, you coward. Okay, we got him, we got him. 10% shield when your shield takes damage. Shock enemies. Eh, that's not that good. Let's see what this Void Cradle's saying. Can enemy slows all enemies in 10 meters. Um, corrupts all gasoline. That's fine, I guess. Blue portal. 
I probably should have scrapped my uh, my one that gives me extra attack speed and gone for a legendary here, but I don't know. I wanted to see how how this item plays out. It seems decent. We've got a power elixir back. That's a buff to the power elixir. It gives us 50% barrier when we go under 50% HP, rather than being healing when we go under 25% HP. An interesting change. What we got going on here? Replace your special with rune. Interesting. Ooh, Jester of the Drowned. It has been some time, my friend. On death, cause a highly damaging void implosion that's 120 times your damage in a radius that revives you. Um, but a 30% HP or lower. All kinds of healing are converted to damage. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> but very scary, so I'm not going to take it. Anything else we might want here? Another Gesture of the Drowned, thank you. Haven't really seen anything that I want yet. Where's the one that gives us like massive max HP? Oh, dude, I'm so sad. The Clover. The Clover. Right, green items. What could I lose that I'd hate losing? I'm sure to do it. I lost a decent amount there, but wait, it tells me here, look. I lost my dagger. No, my dagger. But 57 leaf clover, though. 57 leaf clover is pretty good. Clover is amazing, especially if we can get the right items for it. Yeah, just to the ground here is... Whoa, what on earth? I, like, spawned and, like, almost instantly died there. What on earth was that about? Okay, I guess don't stop moving, because we could be in real trouble if we do sort of thing right now. The spawn location here is, uh... It's kind of sucked fat booty right now. Dude, these... This is... Really rough. What the hell? Spawn location was ass. Dude, a Lemarian? This is absolutely batshit right now. Okay, Lemarian's dead at least. I need you dead, whatever you are. Whatever's trapping me, I do not like it. I am not a fan. Is it you? Well, if it is you, you're dead now, so good. Okay, let's get to a position where we can actually dodge this guy's big nuke when he does it. Dude, what the hell, man? I'm taking so much damage. The shenanigans going down over there as well. Of which I do not know. My drone got a turret. My drones have, have missile launchers now. This area's been rough, man. I could easily die in here. That Vagrant needs to die, man. There's another Elder Lemarian! Oh my god. Get the hell away from that explosion. I think we can kill him before he does his next one, though. Right, good, you're dead. Right, let me open these goddamn chests. This was this has been insane. Crit chance and crit damage is very nice. More crit chance is very nice. Okay, we have a lot of crit chance right now. 
We do need to try and destroy all the eggs on the stage. If we do, there's a bunch of eggs around. If we destroy them, it spawns a boss, and that boss um, can give us a legendary. Oh, actually, it's guaranteed to give us a legendary, should I say. I don't know what that is, but it's, I'll take it. Grant's 14 armor. I like that. Drone Malarkey is kind of interesting. Chance Doll. I've heard. Ch I've not used it before, but I've heard Chance Doll's really good. I got stuck in the floor then for a second. Crowbar's good for us here. We can earn money so fast with this setup. It's kind of beautiful. Right. Teleport's right there as well. Sticky Bomb doesn't do much for us. Honestly, uh, Tranquility used to be so safe. It just isn't anymore. <laughs> like, it doesn't heal me enough for the amount of damage I take while I'm in it. Ooh, Herpy Feather. Very, very nice. Bison is honestly really good now. Gives you plus one level of health rather than just giving you a little bit of HP. And Noxious Thorn is another new item from the DLC, but I think it has been changed by what I'm using right now. Oh my god, what is going on? We got a scrapper there. I mean, I'd love to use it, but I just don't know when I'd get the time. Right, I'm still looking for these eggs. There's another one. I dotted all over the map, so gotta keep our eyes peeled for them. At the minute, I'm just trying to avoid all the goddamn enemies. It's just too much. Hey, we've got another coolant again. Oh, man. This has been a really stressful stage so far. Really, really stressful. There's more eggs. Okay, we're here a distant well. I think we've got two more eggs to find and the boss will spawn. Personal shield generator. Ain't that good. Right, typically the eggs are like up here somewhere. Oh, that was a bad fall. Yeah, I tend to see the eggs up and around here somewhere, so this is where I'm going to look. Got a void field over there that I didn't actually notice before. Backup mag. I've been looking for a backup mag. Gives us extra fists. We've got five monsters in the void field to take care of. I don't want to stay in the void field for too long. I'm able to heal through it mostly though. I've got two more void enemies left to take a look at. Where are the last eggs? They could be all the way at the top, to be fair. And they probably are. Oh, there's some more. Oh, nope, there you go. We spawned the boss. Right, now we got to fight this guy. Who is also a really hard boss, frankly. Also a really hard boss. And we gotta fight everything else at the same time. There's one attack that this thing this thing does that is crazy hard to dodge if you don't have good movement speed, and we have no movement speed right now, so. A little bit worried about when he does that. But as long as I save my movement ability for when that happens, I should be okay. Okay. 
Yeah, let me quickly just zip over here and do this. There you go. And take care of some of the big boys that are hitting me alongside the boss. Yeah, not having a not having HP. Sorry, movement speed is uh, very rough right now. Also, my turrets aren't quite doing as much as I would have hoped. He hasn't done the big boy, big boy attack yet, but it's coming. There it is. Just got to make sure to use that to get out of the way. Ooh, yes. Okay, I will definitely take that. I know that the uh, drone healing thing has been useful, but honestly, having missiles go off all the time is going to be way, way better. So yeah, he gets a bunch of armor when he does that. And uh, if he launches into the air, he does some very, very high damage. Just got to be ready for when it happens. Makes a very, very audible noise, luckily, so it's pretty easy to predict. And yeah, we should be firing off missiles on the regular. Yeah, we are. Good, good. I like to see him. I like to see the missiles. Yeah, this movement ability is actually really good for getting out of the way of that because we get to fly as well. Takes a lot of the pressure off. Ooh, do we do we have a freezing drone? What for us that then? Or do we just have a freezing item that I didn't know about? It's also plausible. Right, very nearly dead. And then we'll get our legendary. Really, one more time we're going to have to deal with this. Also, the missiles just aren't going for the boss at all. There you go. Right, red item. We get ourselves whatever this is. Future discovery. Okay, ooh, interesting. Future discoveries come with plus one more choice. Um, killing enemy permanently reduces armor. Let's go for that. Oh, I didn't use the scrapper. Oh, I can still use it, technically. Magma worm. Oh my lord, he launched me. And a vagrant. What on earth? How are you over here? You teleport over here? Vagrant's probably the easiest one to take care of right now. We've got a missile launcher and stuff. Potentially doing some good work with us. The magma worm can just kind of be around, I guess. He's going to do his big uh, death thing in a minute. Let's get out of the way for that. Okay, good. Thought I was going to die then because I was in a really bad spot for that, but it worked out. Magma Worm's making his way back over. We've managed to deal a good amount of damage to the Magma Worm, actually, just idly. The fist hit it, but only just, dude, how is it doing this? <laughs> it's just flying now. Die, my guy, die. Very hard to hit him actively because he spends so long underground. We've almost got him. Dude, get over here. What are you attacking? What do you think you're attacking? There you go. Another Hopi Feather? I will gladly take that. Right, let's go do some th um, destroying of items. Uh, so what do we want to get rid of here? Let's take stock first before we actually open this up. Personal Shield Generator. Um, out of my white items, I think Personal Shield Generator is like the only one I care to get rid of. And then out of my green items, what have I got going on? Out of my green items, let's have a little look-see. Um, arms race. Actually, arms race kind of works well with our disposable missile launcher, so I don't mind that. That's good, that's good. Chest plate's kind of meh for the boss fight and stuff, so let's give it a chest plate. And I think that's it. So, chest plate, 
What the hell is that? There you go. And I think we're good other than that. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. My god, onto the last stage, and then we gotta go and fight our boss. I'm still, like, kind of miffed we have, like, no movement speed right now. That's really gonna screw us in the boss fight. We really, really need to try and up our movement speed quite a bit before the boss fight, if we can. Hey, we got the new stage as well. Really, really cool stage. The aesthetic on this place is awesome. What is that massive beam over there? I do not know. Oh, hello, Void Man. There's a bunch of Void enemies here. What the hell? Where'd y'all come from? Yeah, that was kind of bad. Those dudes are doing numbers on me right now, so I need to avoid the hell out of them. They do teleport towards me, so... I can't avoid them forever. Yeah, that attack is, uh, ruthless, man. Fucking ruthless. Oh my god. Dude, how am I meant to dodge this right now? He just keeps hitting me with it. Okay, I got him again. That, that, that enemy is brutal. You got a band here. Is that a fire band? That is a fire band. Lovely. Delicate watch is kind of whatever. There's a lot of um, void cradles here that I'm not really going to get a chance to utilize. I'm probably not going to stick around on this stage for too long. I'm hoping to get some movement speed before I move on. But other than that, I'm kind of like, I'm just going to move on. Kill that void bastard there. The Void enemies have so much more HP than the regular ones. Wow. Wow, I nearly died there. Oh, look at the little child. Cautious slug. Tougher times again was that. I think. Yeah, more tougher times is good stuff. Man, this stage is so vertical, so there's a lot of places to look for stuff. Ah. Ignites and bleeds, actually. Your projectiles move 10% slower. Yeah, I'll give that a go. Projectiles move 10% slower is not that big a deal when we're getting extra bleed and extra duration on our bleed. Focus Crystal isn't that good for us with this character. Although we are fairly close to enemies. It's not terrible. It's just not great. Lunar coin. I had something spawn, but I wasn't sure what it was. 3D printer there. That's a fuel cell. Actually, fuel cell's pretty good. It lowers our cooldown, doesn't it? Juice the equipment cooldown. Not a bad thing for... Uh, Gesture of the Drowned situation we got going on. Oh, we got a, a grandparent there. There's so many void enemies. Why? I'm scared. They're all, like, surrounding this, uh, this big portal thing here, look. Activate the lost battery. I don't know what that is, so probably not a good idea to activate it, right? I don't know how hard this guy's going to be to kill, but I don't imagine it's going to be easy. Actually, to be fair, it's not taking as long as I would have thought, at least. Hey, he's dead. Okay. Wasn't nearly as bad as I expected. Stun grenade. Bunch of scrappers there, by the looks of it. Teleport is just over here. I think we're out to look for items, pretty much. Got one more chest over here. 
Ooh, we got a leech seed there. I very much want that. I will risk a random green item for a leech seed. Because leech seeds are actually pretty good now. They've been buffed. They do percent based healing too now. So I'm going to grab one of those. No way he just one shot me like that. Oh my god. Well, there you go. We're going to have to leave off the episode there. Unfortunately, we did not make it to the boss fight. But we had a good run nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy this look into modded Risk of Rain 2 on the new DLC. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to let me know. Leave a like and all that good stuff and a comment. Because I'd really like to do more of this series. And I want it to do well. And it doesn't typically do great on my channel. So it'd be cool to see this one do well. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.